Alright, Shalom. Want to first start off giving all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakradash. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and peace and blessings unto the elect. Okay, real quick, I'm doing this video because I was uh, really thinking about. The energy that uh, IUIC uh, pushes concerning uh, being family men, you know, and, and I'm using them, you know, is this ain't to, to hate on IUIC or nothing like that, because that's what a lot of people uh, say that Great Millstone we hate on this group and we hating on that group and pretty much we hate on everybody and all we do is teach the, teach the scriptures and uh defend defend the gospel starting with the apostles and the elders and the various brothers around the world uh on down you know the scriptures talk Paul talks about uh being in defense of the gospel okay so we are to follow the examples uh, of the of the scriptures, the things that are written aforetime were written for our learning. Okay, uh, Romans fifteen and four. So you know this ain't to to pick on IUIC or to hate on them. This is just to speak truth. You know, um, and then these other camps too. You know, I've I've watched some of these other camps and they do push that vibration and energy that you know we're supposed to uh, get our house in order as far as your your wife and your children. And uh, you're supposed to, you know, have a, a good mean of income, a good means of income, income coming in, you know, which is nothing wrong with that. You know, we teach and, uh, you know, we promote over here, you know, for brothers that got, you know, if you got a family, you take care of your family, you know, but our focus is not, uh, according to the scriptures, is not supposed to be on raising up your kids the right raising up your kids and uh being a husband to your to your woman okay the scriptures uh says to be a a good soldier of your house now if you look at the uh and i believe that's in second timothy somewhere uh i think second timothy is second timothy the second chapter but i don't i, I don't have my scriptures on hand so i I would have to uh, check that, but I know it's in either second, first or second Timothy, I believe in the second chapter, or it may be in the fourth chapter, I, I forget, off the top of my head, but uh, if you look at, if you're a soldier, and, and let's look into the scriptures, when when the men of Israel that were, that were in the military, when they went out to fight, they didn't bring their they family with them. It show you this in in, in 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 the movies. You know, even when you watch uh, the movies, when you go off to war, you on a you on a mission. You know, it's not like you just go fight one battle and then you come back home. You go fight many battles as being part of a uh, many battles being part of a, a war. Okay, and they don't they don't uh, put aside money to bring along the family and have them set up on location while you go out to war you can come back from war and then you deal with your family your uh your wife and your kids man you know no the the, the man leaves off to go fight a, a war okay and he might not return back home for for months to to years you know depending on the the the, the length of the war if you watch that movie uh don't kill the messenger about uh basically about how the US um the US through the CIA uh basically is is responsible for the drugs coming in to the to this country you know ultimately and they used the, the guy Gary Webb was the uh, journal journalist and he wanted to uh he basically you know that's where you get the real Rick, the real Rick Ross. Uh, it wasn't based upon him, but it was really just to 
it really was a story was about Gary Webb, his life, the guy that brought out the uh, and exposed America for being responsible for bringing the drugs into the black community to sponsor to sponsor a war. OK, and you can go watch the movie because I'm not going to go all into the movie. But, uh, you know, the guy Gary Webb was saying if if Rick Ross, if Rick Ross went down and he didn't he didn't support selling drugs. He said everybody that was involved should be should should uh should be punished, you know, not only just uh, the guy Rick Ross. So uh so uh in that movie he had to focus. He knew he had to focus in order to uh get the story out, the true story through interviews and and doing his work, doing in his line of work as a journalist. If you watch the movie he left and he went and isolated himself in a uh, in a hotel room so that he could focus. He had to get away from his wife. He had to get away from his children in order for him to focus on the task at hand. And that was to get that uh, that story out and get the, the truth and all the details of the story out. And I'm just using that analogy because whenever you need to focus to get something done, you gotta be a you can't be this family man. Okay, you can't, you can't, you can't be this family man. A lot of these guys that train for for uh, boxing and martial arts and uh, uh, professional sports, they're away from their family uh, for for long periods of time. You know, because they're constantly training and uh, training to go to go compete, training to compete. You know, another movie is uh. I'm using I use that movie Don't Kill the Don't Kill the Messenger. He had to get away from his family to uh to really focus on the task at hand. Another good movie that uh displays when you're really trying to focus on whatever you're focusing on, it's 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 uh you, you operate in a more focused manner when you when you're away from your, your wife and children. That movie is called uh I think it's called Courage Under Fire with Denzel Washington. I believe it's called Courage Under Fire. It's a military movie. And, you know, in the movie, Denzel Washington was promoting Esau's bullshit as a military system and being loyal and, and showing integrity towards Esau, the so-called white man, his bullshit ass uh, military, you know. But, you know, the point that I want to bring out of that movie, he was trying, he, his job was to get the story straight on the soldier that was a captain that was killed in the movie that was going to receive a Medal of Honor. And he had to get the uh, the truth of the story on how uh, this woman was killed. She was a captain in the movie. And uh, what he did in order for him to really focus he had to get away from it. He had left home and he had to get away from his wife and, and his children, you know, so that he could focus on getting his the material together and doing the interviews and, and doing what he needed to do to uh, give the review, the proper review and details of the death of, a, uh, of the captain, okay, of a particular uh, mission they was on that died, you know. So anyway, that's the same same thing for this truth, man. Like we are uh, on in a spiritual battle, okay? This is a we're a spiritual warfare. The scriptures tell us that we are uh, that to be a good soldier, and uh, that we are to uh, fight the good fight of faith. And it also tells us that we in us uh, we are, we are, uh, we in war. We in, we in a spiritual warfare, okay? And according to uh, Luke, the 14th chapter, we're supposed to put this work of uh, teaching the scriptures priority. OK, and you can't be a family man when you when you focused on uh, uh, fighting this spiritual battle. OK, that don't mean you don't take care of your family, you know, and uh, be responsible and do what you got to do. It just means that your focus has to be on this truth. Okay, you can't be focused on your wife and your kids 
You know, we gonna I, we gonna get to focus on our wife and our kids in the kingdom. Okay, now is the time to fight this fight, which is teaching this word. It's a spiritual fight, teaching this word, and uh, building up other men so that they can become teachers. Okay, according to the scriptures, and uh, so that they can fight and have what they need to stay in the fight to make it through the uh, through the end. We all hope to be of the elect, man. So that was just, a, just, you know, something quick on my spirit. I just want to bring out, you can't be in the family man spirit. This truth is about focusing on teaching this word and bringing up, teaching this word, being a brother, being about the brotherhood and uh, raising up, raising up young men in this truth to become teachers that can fight spiritually fight the good fight of faith so that they may have what it takes to uh withstand in that evil day you know in the book of isaiah 33 and 6 it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of uh of our times meaning when all hell breaks loose when the different plagues that yahweh bashim yahweh shai is going to send on the earth come here on the planet earth especially over here to america that uh we have what we need spiritually through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding to uh, stay strong in that day. So that's pretty much it. You know, uh, I'm going to close this video out with that. Uh, I do hope that this lesson was edifying. Of course, you know, this been brought out before. Uh, the apostles have, you know, taught us through the scriptures and pushed this energy on us to focus on these scriptures and we're not in the time of being family men okay so with that i want to give all praises honor and glory to yahweh bashim yahweh shai bashim makakwadash double honors to the apostles and the elders of great millstone the men that taught us this truth through the spirit and peace and blessings on to the elect and shalom